Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm an independent contractor and trainer. Now in this episode I am going to give a very brief introduction to standard regex and I'm doing this because I think this is one of the most overlooked features of C++ 11 and I blame pretty much the compiler implementers, nothing personal, they do a great job but standard regex really lagged behind and when it was well supported across all the compilers. But it is today, so let's just do a quick look over it. And remember, this is from C++11, so if you're using any remotely new compiler, you should have access to this. Regex is relatively simple uh, to use, but there's a bunch of different types to keep in mind because there's a bunch of different aliases. There are regex matches for character strings and regex matches for standard string and uh, wide string and different sizes of characters and stuff. So we're going to keep this simple and we're going to be using the regex matches that are for just const car stars. And this works very well with the string view coming from C17. But keep in mind that this is, um, the, there's a bunch of different type defs here. So we're just going to start right out with our main and see how we would want to use our regex. So we're going to be using C17. Uh, C++ 11's raw string literals, and if you're not familiar with them, become familiar with them. They are extremely helpful for this kind of thing, otherwise there would be far more backslash escapes than you could possibly count. Now, what we ultimately want to do, I'm getting a bit of ahead of myself here in this example, so I'm going to close this right here, so that's just the start of our regex. What we would like to do is match a string that looks like this. We have, say, an error log that we want to match. And we've got our line number, and then a colon, and then what type of message it is, and then what the actual message was. So if we want to match this, we are going to build our regex that we've got here that is first doing a decimal literal match, backslash d which matches any characters uh, 0 through 9. And then we are going to do an escape for our open bracket. And we're going to be creating capture groups here. And this is kind of critical for any real use of regular expressions at all in programming. So what we're doing is we're saying we want to capture basically anything that isn't a close bracket here. So this is what this character class is doing. It's saying, not a close bracket, please. And we want to capture at least one character that is inside of these surrounding brackets. So we have hopefully created our match that will match anything that's in between these two brackets. And then we need to match a, another space and then any characters that remain will be the actual message. So if I've done this right, this should be our regular expression. And we have in here, I can see that I have one mistake. I need to put a close parenthesis here. So I've got my first capture group, which is the line number and then my second capture group, which is the message inside the brackets, and my third, which is the actual message. So we're going to do our regex match, and this is one aspect of the standard regex library I just don't like. It doesn't sit well with my keeping object lifetime as short as possible mantra. So we have to pass in the, regular, the string that we want to match to, the match results, which is this match object that doesn't exist yet, and the regular expression that we want to match against. So for this example, we're using the cmatch type def, which is for our character string results that we're going to be getting back. And then let's dump these out. So what is this dump function going to look like? It's going to be pretty straightforward. 
And we could have made this a template so it works with different regular expression matching types or uh, a lambda that's auto, but this is what we're going to do for the moment. And I'm going to be using a for loop. I could use a ranged for loop here, but for the sake of this example, I want to be able to show what each match is. So we're going to start at the zeroth item and we're going to go to the end of the matches. Now something that is worth noting is we are going to be using this little helper function called dot str. And I will get to it in just a second. So this function that I just called is saying, give me a string representation of the ith element passed in. And this is important because we are explicitly instantiating a string object here instead of using the substring begin and end match that was actually created for us in the regular expression match. So keep that in mind. You can do this highly efficiently by running regular expressions against a character string or a string view, begin and end iterator, and not have to construct any strings at all on the heap. But in this case, we are creating a string. Well, in this case, it's going to be staying on the stack because it'll probably fit in the small string optimization in every case. But that's not really the point. Avoid creating the string objects. If you can. And we're going to close it off. And then we need to add a few headers in. And now we should be able to compile this. Here's hoping I got it right. And there are our four matches. So we have the zeroth match is the entire string saying that it was matched. The first one is our line number. Our second is the actual type of message that we wanted. And the third is the message string. So everything parsed exactly like we wanted it to. So there you go. Uh, this is a very straightforward, simple primer to using regular expressions in C++. Um, I think it's probably worth noting that uh, they do seem to have a bit of a compile time overhead. So let's just turn on optimization and get some timing back from this. You see the length of this program. It's very small. Turn on all optimizations. Turn on timing. That took uh, almost eight seconds to compile. And it didn't use a ton of RAM, uh, only. 216 megs of RAM, I guess. But um, it's still a very easy to use part of the standard library that I think is overlooked, so check it out. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.